Jason LeDuc, back with you here with more advice on how to be the kind of boss you always wish you had and to be that kind of boss for your team. Today, we're going to be talking about easy ways to improve employee experience on our team. Now, employee experience is very important to a lot of organizations. A lot of them are spending a lot of money on it, but there are some things we can do at leaders, as leaders, especially at the front line of leadership, that can improve employee experience without really spending a lot of or any money at all. And the first one of those is to understand and appreciate our employees' career goals. Our employees are not working for our organization for the same reasons that we are or that the organization exists in the first place. They have their own reasons for it. They have their own career goals, and they're there for their own reasons. When we understand that, recognize that, and appreciate that, we are helping improve the employee experience. Second, once we understand and recognize and appreciate that employees have their own career goals, investing in those career goals is what's going to help improve employee experience for them as we go forward. And that doesn't mean we have to spend a lot of money on training or software or anything like that. What it does mean is that we can, when we have a project that we need to get done, and that aligns with one of our employees' career goals, even if they're not the first person we might pick to run that project or to be on that project, we can help them achieve those career goals, show that we're investing in their career goals by letting them gain some skills and experience from being on that project. We can also maybe let them go over to another part of the organization that aligns with their career goals for a short period of time, let them learn over there, get a new perspective and bring that back to us. And that just helps all of us be better, be better employees, be a better part of the bigger organization. Also, we wanna make sure that we recognize our employees for good behavior, not just their outcomes. And by good behavior, I don't just mean being nice and playing nice with others and sitting quietly when you're supposed to sit quietly. What I mean by that is we wanna recognize them when they do things that are aligned with the core values of the organization, when they do things that are aligned with the strategic objectives of the organization, when they do things that support the mission of the organization, we wanna recognize them, we wanna praise them publicly for that even if the outcomes aren't exactly what we wanted to get out of that, we want to say to them, hey, I see what you did there. You're doing exactly what we've asked you to do as an employee. Keep it up and we'll, we'll get the outcome there. When we do that, that improves the employee experience, not just for that employee, but for all of our employees because they understand they're appreciated for the things they do and not just the outcomes they get. And finally, and this is a little bit of a bonus tip because it doesn't just have to do with employee experience, although it does relate, Employees come to us all the time with ideas to make things better. They've got pitches for how to, how, to, how to make things more efficient, more effective, that kind of thing. Don't feel like we need to give yes or no answers right away to those pitches that our employees bring us. If there's something they didn't address in that pitch that's really important, tell them, I can't say yes to this now, but if you go address these three things, bring it back, we can talk about it, and we can, maybe we can go forward with this in the future. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please like, comment, and share. If you know someone who can use it, please forward it on to them. If you have any comments or questions, please slide into my DMs. I don't mind. I hope this was helpful in developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.